we're looking at gauge readings on a 99 Plymouth Prowler. And so right now we have a static uh, pressure reading of around, um, looks like 85 PSI. So we're, that's a good static pressure. Um, both gauge readings are looking about the same. The vehicle now is started, cold. And uh, this is uh, Professor Scott Norman from uh, Pittsburgh State University Automotive Technology Program. And this is another uh, micro lesson on gauge analysis, AC gauge analysis. So uh, right now we're seeing the high side pressure go up because the cooling fans aren't on and it oh, looks like the cooling fan just kicked on. And so now we're seeing um, the pressures uh, come to a stabilization. Uh, this is a, a TXV system with a fixed displacement compressor. And uh, what's unique about this particular uh, vehicle is that uh, it blows uh, great air conditioning. So the so the complaint is uh, air conditioning when it when it's working is working fantastic when it does work, but on occasion uh, the AC just stops working. And so uh, these videos that uh, I'm doing right here, uh, I use these videos uh, to help train uh, students in the classroom on how to analyze gauge reading. So so before they go out to the shop to actually diagnose vehicles. Uh, we look a couple of these videos and and then um, I turn the volume down the audio off and we look at these uh, pressure readings and, and we uh, have the students, you know, analyze as a group, you know, what do they think? And so uh, if you want to do this uh, uh, same type of activity, I recommend you turning the audio off while you're showing these videos to your students so, so they have a chance to use some critical thinking skills, analyze the gauge readings and, and not have the answers uh, just given to them. Uh, the cooling fan cycled uh, off, and so we're seeing the pressures go up to probably around 240 PSI, and now the cooling fans are kicking back on again. So so since the engine is warming up and the engine is not hot, we're gonna get a little cycling um, of the cooling fan turning off and on, which um, is causing the high side gauge to, to go up and down, which is kind of nice to for the, for the students to see that because that's kind of normal on a, um, on a coder engine. So if you take a look at uh, ambient temperature, it's uh, 71 degrees in the shop, 25% humidity. So it's a climate control shop. And probably the first thing that you're noticing is that the, is that the low side gauge is uh, reading pretty low. It, it's under uh, 10 PSI. Now we're down to like um, 6 PSI. And right now the vehicle is blowing uh, 20 degree air. And so um, a lot of times the students uh, will not notice a problem though they'll say hey it's blowing cold air uh the low side is reading a little low uh high side is reading fairly normal and they say well it's a txv system and and on some systems going down to maybe 10 psi could be normal uh in my book anything that low is a concern to do some uh, further diagnostics on this and so um, the students um, will start talking about, oh, wow, there's a, maybe a, um, there's a, an undercharged condition or something like that causing this problem. So they'll check the charge level and find out that there's a, um, a perfect amount of refrigerant in it. And so I talk to the students about, hey, um, you know, the big concern is, is that it's blown out 20 degree air and that an undercharged condition will not <laughs> cause the system to blow out 20 degree air anytime you're you're, the system's not working properly, um, uh, you're going to be blowing out hotter air, like, you know, 60-degree air, not 20-degree not air. So this system is working perfect. This system is working really, really, really good. In fact, it's working too good. And probably one of the things that are odd about this is that when it gets down to, let's say, 6 PSI of low side pressure, which is too low, and it's getting to 20 degrees, the AC is not turning off. Now, right now, I just turned off the air conditioning myself, because the other thing the students are going to say that's a problem is, is that they'll say that the TXV is stuck closed. And so I'm doing an equalization test right here to, to show that, that the TXV system is equalizing normal. And if the TSV is stuck, either open or closed, it's not going to cause 20 degree air. Remember, uh, uh, if there's any problems with the um, with the AC system itself, you're going to be blowing hotter air, not colder air. So the problem with this system is the AC is not turning off when it's supposed to. So it's a freeze up control problem. This has a evaporator temperature sensor in it, and the evaporator temperature sensor um, is not sensing the correct temperature. It's not in the evaporator, but it's you know it, it fell out or you know it's just physically not in the right spot. 
Uh, maybe it's a capillary uh, a tube where the tape on the capillary tube fell off from the suction line, and so it's sensing maybe 50 degree air or 60 degree air or 71 degree air coming into the HVAC assembly. It's not sensing the, um, the evaporative temperature. So anytime you're getting a situation where um, uh, the AC is getting too cold, you know, you want to look at your freeze up control device and uh, see why the AC compressor is not turning off when it should. And so this is a good example of that. And so um, again, this is uh, Professor Scott Norman. I Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you're looking for more automotive educational videos, you could subscribe to my Professor Pintane YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a good day.